Hey everyone, it's Nancy and I am back with another video for Wild Orchid Crafts for the Wild Bunch. I wanted to share with you all this altered cigar box that I made. This box is gorgeous um, on so many different levels. I absolutely love it and my husband said that he loved it until I did the inside and made it more girly. <laughs> but he said he would actually take this box so he likes the colors and everything. Um, this is just a white, you know, regular cigar box. I got a deal of these at Michael's which actually turned out to be an accident on the Michael's store but lucky for me. Um, but what I did is I covered the box using the Pink Paisley Parisian Anthology paper, which, as you all know, is one of my absolute favorite papers. And I went with the tea dye and antique linen and vintage photo walnut stain on this. But also on it, there is uh, a little bit of blue and a little bit of green and a little bit of orange because those are the favorite colors of the person that this box is going to. So I tried to add some of those colors in it as well. You can't probably really see them on video, but it is there. You could tell probably up in here that there is blue on there. Um, this frame under here is an ornate frame that I got in a rack and I stamped the Tim Holtz Eiffel Tower stamp and put it in the frame so it's really pretty but you can just barely see that Eiffel Tower back there which is the look I was going for and then I actually cut the word Paris out using my Cricut I know big surprise <laughs> but I'm loving the new expression too so I have been using it a lot um, the flowers on here are beautiful wild orchid craft flowers these trellis roses are absolutely gorgeous. I love working with these flowers. They're just so sturdy and really take any kind of paint or ink or anything that you can throw at them really well. I think there's a web right there. Um, there's open roses. Um, up in here are some of the chandeliers. These little hearts in here. Love those. Really, really nice. They give the perfect little sparkle to your projects. And then there's smaller little 10 millimeter roses tucked in. And then some of my favorite little rosebuds. Gotta have those. I've been using those on all my projects. And then up in this corner, the same thing. Open roses. Some half pearls tucked in there. Some more of the chandeliers. Some more of the tiny baby rosebuds really love the way that little cluster came out and then up here on top of the frame I did a little spray again the little tiny 10 millimeter open roses and then the closed rose buds and then the open rose some more of the chandeliers um, tucked in here is just a piece of lace that I had left over from the part the piece that I used for my stash and so I just gathered it a little bit and tucked it under there. And then this lace, like I said, is from my stash as well as this beaded little trim is from my stash. And I had painted the entire box a chocolate brown before I covered it. So it has the nice dark chocolate brown edging. And then when you open the box, um, the bottom is just plain brown from where I painted it. And I did put a piece of textured cardstock down in the bottom. And then the top of the lid, I um, altered one of the Tim Holtz dress forms and I cut it out using the paper and used some seam binding to make the top of the dress and made a little seam binding bow here. And this was white seam binding that I colored using the walnut stain distress stain. Really fun to color up your ribbons and your trims and you know laces and stuff with that and then I just layered some lace here for the skirt really love the way it turned out so that is my Paris cigar box and I really hope that she likes it this is a surprise for a friend she doesn't know that it's coming but I have another friend that's 
helping me sneak and do this. So um, much appreciation to her. She knows who she is. So um, thank you for watching, everybody. I will list all of the item numbers down below for you. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.